Hello, my friends, I'm Lori Barocco, and I welcome you to my weekly predictions. And I'm going to be looking into the week of September 3rd, 2023. And for the month of September, I'm gonna be using the Vision Quest Tarot by Galen, Sylvie, Winter, and Joe Doze. So this is an oldie, but a goodie. It's a classic, and I can't wait to work with the symbolism of this deck. We have carried this deck in the centers for, I think since I opened, which is about 16 years ago, but it's always been a staple and I will continue to carry it. All righty, so let's select three cards from this deck and let's see what spirit has in store for us. Okay, so the first card we have is the Sun of Fire, which is the Knight of Wands. Ooh, we're starting off with a lot of movement. Then we have the Three of Air, which the word doubt is in there. So the Three of Air is the Three of Swords, which this is a different image, much different image, uh, and has different symbolism than the, the traditional Three of Swords. So we have the Three of Swords. Son of air. And then we have the six of air, which is clarity, which is the six of pen, uh, six of swords reversed. All right, so um, right off the bat, I'm feeling that the tendency to react is pretty high <laughs> for all of us, right? The, that Knight of Wands wants to do something. It's a movement card and it wants to take action. And so um, the advice from Spirit is when you're taking action, when you take action, just take a moment to take your, um, your ability to reason through situations with you, right? Take that reasoning ability with you. And the other thing that I'm getting from Spirit is really take a step back and think about the effects, the, the end result of your actions. Is this gonna hurt someone? Is this, may they take this um, in the way it was meant to be received, my action, my words, whatever I'm doing, and maybe I should rethink some things. That's what I'm really getting with this week's message. Before you react, because you're feeling like, hey, there's all, there's this bubbling within me, this fire that's within me that wants to do something. Let me just take a moment and think it through, right? Could this be perceived in a way that triggers someone that I care about? And, and then, ask yourself, what are my motives with all of this? Are my motives clear? Are they loving? Are they coming from a good place? And let me think this through. What could be the repercussions of my action, right? So let's take a moment and let's not forget, we are in that Mercury retrograde cycle. So the um, potential for being misunderstood, it can be really high and how we communicate may not be as clear and eloquent as how we would like it to be. Okay, so, um, and you know, the, that clarity one, that six of swords reversed, six of air reversed, that tells me that uh, there's a little bit of fuzziness and murkiness with perceiving, perceiving and projecting, okay? So think before you speak or act, and also think before you speak and respond as well, right? Just take a moment, like before you react, let's sit with it a little bit. All right, thank you so much for tuning in each and every week. I am Lori Baracco, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.